Welcome to Beautiful Living Live. I'm Sheila Maitland and today I'm at OC Dermatology in Laguna Niguel. And I'm so excited because I'm about to experience the Kybella treatment. And that is where they get rid of this little fatty pad underneath my chin. And today, Dr. Lori Klein, she's a board certified dermatologist here in Laguna Niguel. She's going to do my treatment. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Klein, and today we're going to perform a Kybella treatment on Sheila. I'm also a trainer for Kybella, and I train other physicians on this procedure. We're going to go through the evaluation first. So Sheila, um, what bo is bothering you about this area? Well, a lot of times when I see myself in the mirror and pictures, I can really tell that from the side. I don't see it as much from the front, but from the side I realize, oh my goodness, I'm not as aware, and that's really there, and I don't like to stick it. Okay, so some people have a, call it a double chin. You don't quite have a double chin. You don't have very much fat there, but you have enough that we can make it better. Okay, Kybella is a permanent treatment. It will get rid of the fat permanently in two to four treatments, and we space the treatments apart by four to eight weeks, depending on um, the patient and our schedule. Side effects that are common are bruising. Okay, so the first time we do it, you'll get the most swelling if you are gonna swell, and most people do swell to a certain degree, and then it gets a little less in other treatments. Okay. It's also a very comfortable treatment if we numb you first, and we are going to definitely numb you. Good. Okay, <laughs> some doctors don't, because it's not required to numb you, but we find it's a lot more comfortable. Right. Okay. Now I want you to show me your lower teeth and frown at the same time, okay. Now that tells me how much where the fat is that I can get rid of. You can relax now. If you had lax skin, sort of droopy skin, mm -hmm. um, we can't really help that with Kybella, although some people get a little bit of tightening with that. We don't promise that that's mm -hmm. going to happen. If you had very lax skin, we may not see the results, but you don't, okay? So that's a good thing. Also, if you had these neck bands, mm -hmm. um, these bands that come down, mm -hmm. which you don't have prominent right. ones, but if someone does, we may see them more after we get rid of the fat because the fat disguises them. So some people might think their neck looks more bandy, more, more like they've got these things going up and down. And that's not because it's making it worse, but it just might unveil it, okay? Unmask it is another way to say it. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark you because if we mark you, that helps me determine areas not to treat. And when I train other physicians for this, I train them that way because in the beginning, you definitely want to avoid certain things like a nerve that comes over here that could affect, be affected if we injected it. Do you have any thyroid problems? Do you have any problems with swallowing? Okay, neither one of those would prevent you from having the treatment, but I wanna be aware of that, okay? Sometimes people have a little bit of difficulty swallowing after words for the first few days but it's really not a problem with actual swallowing mechanism it's the swelling of their throat like when you have a sore throat and it's hard to swallow it's that kind of feeling okay so i'm marking you right now and i really don't need to do this because i have enough experience with this but because i train other physicians i like to stay at least in the habit of doing it and plus it's good for demonstration today. And I'm marking the edge of your jaw, and then I'm gonna stay about a centimeter and a half away from that, because that's where the nerve might lie. Okay. Now, put your head down and swallow for me. Okay, so right here is the top of your hyoid bone, and I'm marking that because I don't want to inject below that. And then I'm going to some more markings that help guide the area to treat, okay? So this area right in here is the area that I'm gonna to treat today. The next thing we're going to do is numb you. Okay. Okay, Sheila, so what I'm gonna do now is clean the area now that we have it all marked, and I'm gonna start numbing you up, okay? So this is lidocaine with epinephrine. It is a needle, but it's a very skinny needle and you don't feel it that much, okay? Um, the next part is going to be to, to put the template on. This has little dots, sort of like a kid's tattoo, the kind that you rub on and then it can come off later. Okay, this just allows us to space apart the injections very equally and make sure that um, the right amount of product is getting put in there. Okay. I'm just going to apply a little bit of water on this, sterile water. Off and we'll use all our dots on. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove the dots that are outside the area I want to treat. It just makes my life simpler when I'm treating. Liposuction is the only other thing, and that is surgical. This is not that can get rid of the fat under the chin. So I'm just going to count my dots. So now we're going to inject one cc for every five dots that you have approximately. Sometimes I go a little less if I feel around the edge. I, I just need a little, so I'll put maybe 0.1. Because you don't have a lot of fat there, I'm probably going to edge on the lower side of that. Maybe do about two cc's total, which is a, a, what we'd have for 20 to 25 dots, okay? Okay, so here we go. You let me know if you feel anything, and if you do, I'll numb you some more, okay? When I'm injecting, I'm injecting into the middle of the fat layer, okay? You don't need to know that, but anybody watching this who, might, who is a doctor who wants to perform the procedure, it's good for them to know how much and where it goes. Absolutely no pain. Great. I'm injecting next to the dots, not through the dots, because we don't want to give you permanent color in your skin by pushing some of that color in there. This is a temporary tattoo, not a permanent one. Okay. Now that you're done with your injections, I'm going to clean your little dots off. And your white marker. Okay, so here's a nice cold Kybella ice pack. That's it? That's it. Just hold that there. And we'll put you up and you'll be all set. So Sheila, now that you're done with your treatment, how was it? It was amazing. I can't believe I didn't feel anything. I thought for sure it would hurt. Good. Well, it's nice that the numbing you didn't feel either because when people think of needles, they get scared. Mm -hmm. But really, the needle's so skinny that we use for numbing you, most people don't feel very much of it. Right. I feel this is the best way to do it. Afterwards, you don't have to do anything unless you were bruising, which you're not. But if you were, you can use cold compresses for that or for comfort. If it feels tender and it's bothering you, it won't be bad, but you can certainly use um, cold compresses. You can also take Tylenol if you want. Um, if you're not bruising, you can take ibuprofen, but I would recommend not taking ibuprofen or aspirin if it looks like you're bruising the first day, because it could make it a little bit worse. Okay. But most people don't need to do anything, okay? Great. They just have swelling, mm -hmm. which you can camouflage with either a turtleneck in the winter or a scarf any time of the year. Enjoy, come back in four weeks and okay. we'll do it again. Perfect. Thank you.